To get started with Twitter, head on over to twitter.com and click on sign up. It'll ask you to put in a full name, an email, and a password. Once you've satisfied those requirements, you can use the advanced options to give Twitter some more information and feedback, or you can just click sign up. The next step will ask for a phone number. This is to protect your account, but you can skip it if you choose. When you choose a username, try to select the shortest username that you can use because those characters go against your 140 characters anytime someone would tweet at you. When you get to your first dashboard, you'll see that you'll need to confirm your Twitter account via email. Choosing who to follow on Twitter is an important way to get started filtering the information that comes to you. When you look at your dashboard, you'll see that after you followed someone, it'll give you some ideas on who to follow based on who you're following at the time. That's an easy way to do it, or you can go up to the search and find someone's handle or username, select their account, and from their homepage, you can choose to follow them by clicking on the follow button. Once you do that, Twitter will begin suggesting more people to follow based on following, in this case, Mark McElroy. To unfollow someone, you can simply click the following button and it will unfollow them. Any person you're following, you'll see that their tweets and retweets come into your home feed. Now you can see on my homepage that I'm following two people and I've made zero tweets. If I want to see who I'm following, I can simply click on the following list and it'll show me that I'm following Mark McElroy and KAS Pride right now. I can also choose to follow or unfollow from this screen. Sending a tweet from your dashboard is easy. If you go to the upper right, you can just click on tweet. This will bring up a tweet composing window. You can begin typing what you'd like to say and notice that in the bottom right hand corner it tells you how many characters you have left out of your 140. You can choose to add emojis if you'd like by the emoji selection window and you can also choose to add a photo video, a gif, add a poll or add a location. To tweet, simply click on tweet. When looking at a tweet that someone else has sent that's ended up on your home screen, you can choose to reply, retweet, like, or send a direct message to that user. A retweet is a great way to take someone else's tweet and send them to all of your followers. You can simply retweet or you can add text to the retweet box so you can add your own words to someone else's tweet and then when you click tweet that first tweet will go out to all of your followers. Direct messages are a way to send private messages within Twitter. It's almost like an email and it doesn't follow the same 140 characters rule. Uh, you can create a new direct message to someone, send it, and have a conversation privately with them or a group of people. Creating lists is a great way to filter the information that you get from Twitter. To see your lists, you can click on your list group after you've gone to your own homepage. And if you want to create a new list, go ahead and click Create List. And since I'm a Broncos fan, I'm going to create a list of Broncos players to see what they tweet. Once you save the list, you're going to need to add people to it. So I'm going to start by adding John Elway. If you see a celebrity, you'll notice they have a blue check mark next to their name. That means that is a verified Twitter account for that user. I'm going to go ahead and follow John Elway. And then what I'm going to do is you'll see the three dots next to his following button. And from there, I can add him to a list that I've created. I can also remove him from a list. But when I click on him, I can check the Broncos uh, box next to his list and close up. And I'm going to go ahead and begin adding more people to my list. So I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to select the people that I'm following to see a list of them. I could also search for new people to add to my list by using the search function. For this, see by the people I'm following, if I click on the little three dots next to them, I can add them to those lists as I go. Now when I click on my lists from my home page, I can see that I have all the lists that I've made. I can click on Broncos and what I'll see is all the tweets from any user that's in my Broncos list. This is a great way to add educators to a list and just see the tweets and retweets that they make.